Hey everyone, it's Jennifer. Uh, today's video shares how to take a stamp and create a repeated pattern for a whole new look. Now this video is from the Hero Arts blog YouTube channel and I highly recommend you click here to subscribe to their channel because they have lots of great videos from lots of great artists. I am a big fan of taking stamps and using them in creative ways. And on these three cards, which I'm going to share in this video, I actually used a holiday ornament set. This is the Christmas Crystals set from Hero Arts. I love these graphic images, and they're perfect for creating a repeating pattern to form either a flower or a star, as you see here. Since this has like a bold look to these cards, I decided I wanted to use bold color, and I actually used some watercolor shimmer with markers, which I'll describe at the end of this video. But let's first go ahead and create our shapes. I'm gonna start with the flower example. Here's a stamp set that I love so much. There's some great examples of this on the Hero Arts website, and I have some watercolor paper. I want to have a focal point for the shape that I'm forming on my card, so I'm putting a mark at the halfway point with my T-ruler and drawing a line um, one way, and then I'm drawing the line vertically too. Now where these two lines meet is the center top of this card. That's where the center of my flower will be. Now I did practice this on some scrap paper there so I knew how far apart to space each of our crystals to get a good flower. Now I'm using a black pigment ink called Versifying here because I want to heat emboss this in a moment. Now I'm going to start with the top of my ornament always meeting up in the center point, that, that focal point that we created with our pencil lines. And I'm just going to start at the top and just work my way around. Now each time I do this, that, that top of the ornament is meeting in the middle. And I'm just putting an even space in between each. Now if you look, it's not perfect, but I really don't think it matters because after all, this is handmade. Now I'm adding some clear embossing powder to this. Uh, the reason I decided to heat emboss this is I'm going to do somewhat of a watercolor technique later in the video. And I find that when I use heat embossed outlines, it helps with keeping that watercolor kind of contained and within the lines. Now that we are done with our pencil lines, we can just go ahead and erase that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the shape for the other two cards. So let's do the star next. I decided I wanted this to be kind of up in the top corner of my card. So I'm drawing a line vertically and then I'll draw a line horizontally. Basically making sure that where these lines cross is where I want the center of my star to be. Now after doing this, I decided that that line, that focal point was a little too far to the left. So I'm gonna erase that vertical line and draw a new one that's a little bit more to the right. And you can play around with this to figure it out, but it really doesn't have to be perfect. And you can see over on the left, you can, um, my practice at this. And I noticed that the size of this crystal is perfect. All I, to um, perfectly line up, all I have to do is stamp them right up against each other. So it is very easy to do. So I'm starting with my vertical one up here at the top, making sure the top of my ornament meets right at that focal point. And then I'm gonna do the next one right up against it. Now what I do each time is I look from above. So there's my head. I try to crop it out in most of the video, but I thought I'd leave it in there so you saw that by looking directly from above through my stamp, I can easily line this up every time. Now it doesn't have to be perfect again because once we add the color, nobody will ever know if it's not perfectly lined up. I'm gonna, again, clear um, heat embossing this so that we have a nice raised look and heat setting it. If you don't have a black pigment ink and clear powder, you could by all means use a white heat embossing. I think that would look really neat here too. Next, let's do this giant star. This one I'm gonna to put towards the bottom right corner. Again, I am drawing the two lines. I love using the T-ruler. It's an inexpensive tool that helps with straight lines. I'm again doing those two lines so I have a focal point. I'm stamping my crystal so that it meets up every time in the middle. Again, I did a practice run of this on some scrap paper, which you'll see in a moment here. And I found that if I just stamp this meeting up each edge of each crystal, crystal meeting up with the other, it fits perfectly around in a circle. So then I added some clear embossing powder and I'm heat setting it and there we have a large star. And I love how we took those shapes from that holiday ornament set and gave it a completely different look that we could use throughout the year. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this. By the way, I recommend getting a good mechanical pencil with a nice lead and eraser for techniques like this. So now that we've formed all of our flowers and stars, let's go ahead and add the color. I decided to start with the star first, and I'll be using the Wink of Stella brush. This is somewhat like a water brush, but what's inside of it is like a water with shimmer in it, and it's great for adding shimmer to an image, but also for watercolor, which I'll be doing here today. I'm using Tombow markers for this because these work great as a watercolor. You could also use distress markers if you want to. What I do is I put the marker down onto my project where I want the, dark, the darkest color to be. 
Then I use the Wink of Stella as a wet medium to kind of pull that color towards uh, the other parts of the area I want to color, and it'll be lighter there. So you get this ombre effect. It's darkest where you put the marker down, and lightest where you kind of pull the color out with your Wink of Stella. So essentially, I'm using my Wink of Stella as a water to create a watercolor look with my markers. Now I find it's best to put the marker down and then very quickly bring the Wink of Stella to it because while it's kind of still wet on the paper, it blends better. Now the Wink of Stella will get blue on the tip, but all you have to do is kind of uh, brush the tip off on some scrap paper and that blue will go away and you can move on to the next color. But look how pretty this is. So we're getting a watercolor effect and shimmer all in one step. Now the Swink of Stella, um, it does run out eventually, but there's always a lot of shimmer left behind even when the moisture's gone. So I just add a little more water and I get a second life out of my Wink of Stella brush. If you don't have the Wink of Stella, you could use water and then maybe add like a Perfect Pearl pigment powder to it to give some shimmer. Now if you go outside of the lines when it's dry, you can go back with your white pen and just kind of cover, it, a cover up over that and nobody will ever know. I do this trick all the time. I tend to go outside of the lines sometimes. So there you can see the great color and the great shimmer that you can get very easily with a marker and the Wink of Stella. Now while I have this project out, let's go ahead and finish it up and turn it into a card. I have cut a card base that is four and a quarter by five and a half, and I trimmed down my stamped piece a little bit so that blue is showing around the edge. I also used a circle punch that was a little bit bigger than one inch to punch the center out of the image that we created so I can have a sentiment peeking out. So I'm lining this up on the center of our card and drawing a little line with my pencil where I want to put my sentiment. Now this new stamp set called The Good Stuff from Hero Arts in Basic Gray, I'm going to go ahead and uh, mask off part of it. I only want that hello showing. There's this fun frame around it, but I really only want the hello. So I've cut a little mask very quickly with some scrap paper, putting it onto my stamp, and now I'm going to ink up just the word hello with my Versamark ink pad. I love to get um, more looks out of stamps by masking off portions when I go to ink it. So now I'm stamping that right in the center of our circle and adding some white um, embossing powder so we can get a bright white heat embossed image that'll peek through the center of that star that we created. Now I did notice that I did this upside down. I do this all the time. I totally made this card upside down. So I'm doing what I always do and just cutting the back of the card off and now we'll stick this all on to another note card. Now I'll be honest, if I had a penny for the number of times I've made a card upside down, I would have enough money to buy everybody in the world a stamp. I'm, ju I'm just saying. So I went ahead and used foam tape to add this onto the blue panel and you can see it's popped up nicely. And now we can stick this onto a card in the right direction so the card opens normally. So I put it onto a white note card and there we have our finished card. So now let's go ahead and finish the other two cards. I'm going to just show you bits and pieces of them because they're very similar to the first. For the flower, I use pink towards the center. Again, I put down lots of the pink marker towards the center, use my Wink of Stella to kind of pull the color out and blend it. Again, if you don't have the Wink of Stella, you could use water brush here or just use water like you would watercolor. After I did all this, I decided I wanted that area with the orange to be a little more peachy. So I took my pink marker, scribbled it on my craft sheet, or you can scribble it on an acrylic block or some plastic if you want to, picked up some of that pink with my Wink of Stella and brought it onto the project, therefore kind of changing it a little bit and making it more peachy. Now for the sentiment, I had this image from that same stamp set. It had some little dots and icons at the, above and below the words, hello friend. So I covered those up with some painter's tape just to mask them off, kind of like I did earlier with scrap paper. Now I inked up my stamp, removed the painter's tape, and there we have just the words, hello and friend inked up. So I inked that with a black pigment ink, and now I'm adding my clear embossing powder once again so that the sentiment matches the stamping that we've already done on this card. Now for the center of this flower, I decided to add an embell embellishment. So I found this little um, black kind of gem, and I wanted to add it with a strong adhesive, so I used Multimedium from Ranger. This is a great strong adhesive, and just add it right to the center of my flower. And I trimmed the sides of this stamp piece and put it onto a pink note card, and I did it right side up this time, so I'm very proud of myself. But check out the shimmer that you get with that Wink of Stella. It's just beautiful in real life. Now it's time to finish our final card here. This time I just did random color, so I didn't follow a pattern here. I just had some fun coloring. I don't know about you, but I find coloring so therapeutic. If you like a different type of coloring better, like Copic markers or colored pencils or whatever, do whatever you like here. Any of them work for this technique. 
So I trimmed my piece down a little bit so that a pink note card would show behind it. And I used another circle punch to punch a circle at the center of our design. Now this time I have traced my circle and I'm going to again mask the top and the bottom of my hello friend. This time I'm using scrap paper. So you, whatever works best for you to kind of mask away the rest of the sentiment. I inked it up with Versamark because we're going to use white heat embossing powder on this. And there we have our hello friend message. So I'm going to go ahead and erase my circle and then we can add this right on top. I'm using foam tape again. I kind of went overboard with the foam tape here. I, I don't know what my deal is, but I think I'm making up for the fact that I messed up that card earlier. I'm going to go ahead and glue this over it. And I love the look of the sentiment kind of set back from the center. If you wanted to save time, you could just punch the circle and put it right on top of there. And check out that shimmer that you get with the Wink of Stella. So there, we took a holiday ornament stamp set and changed it into really colorful flowers and stars. Just another way you can stretch your stamps. And again, if you don't already follow the Hero Arts YouTube channel, I encourage you to subs subscribe by clicking the button in the corner up here or in my YouTube description below. Also in my YouTube description, I have links to all the products that I use. And you can also go over to my blog at jennifermaguireinc.com for much more information. If you found this video helpful, please let YouTube know by giving it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching.